Hey guys, Harshal here. Today we will learn how to install Red Hat version 8 on Oracle VirtualBox. For the installation, you will need is first Oracle VirtualBox installed. If you don't know how to install Oracle VirtualBox, link is in the description for the video. Check out there. Secondly, Red Hat version 8 ISO image. For the same, the link is in the description to download. So let's get started. Open the VirtualBox. Click on new icon. Give the name as rel8, which is Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 8. Select the type to be Linux and the version, whichever is compatible with your system. For me, it's Red Hat 64. Click on next. Here you will ask to give the memory size, that is the RAM. I am giving it as 2 GB of RAM. Click on next. Leave the settings as default. Click create. Same here as well. Next. And next here you will ask to give the storage space I mean I am giving it as 30 GBs which is enough for me click create the hardware part is done now heading on to the software part click settings go to systems go to processor and assign it as two CPUs Go to display and max the video memory to 128 MBs. Go to storage, click on empty. Here you'll find the CD DVD icon. Click on that. Click on choose a disk file and navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the Red Hat version 8 ISO image. I have downloaded here, so I'm clicking here. Click on open and click OK. The software part is done. Now starting the machine. Use the arrow keys to navigate between the options. The highlighted part is the selected part from the arrow keys. So select the install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.0.0. Click enter. The installation pro process has been started. So here you are asked to select the keyboard language and the language for your operating system. I will keep it as default English and click on continue. In the installation summary, you will get to see many options for the language support it's selected as English United States. For time and date, click on time and date. Select the region of India and click done. Go to installation source. Keep this setting as default. Click on done. Click on software selection. Select the workstation option and click done. Go to installation destination. Select the partition. If this check appears that the partition has been selected and click on done. Leave other settings as default and click on begin installation. The installation has been started, but here you will ask for the root password. So click on the root password and give it a root password as root as password. Same here as well root. And click on done. For the user's creation, click on user creation. Create a user, say Harshal. And password as Red Hat and red hat so click on done two times and wait for the installation to be done
so here the installation is complete and here it is asked to reboot so click on reboot so here again you are asked to select for the installation so what you have to do is you just have to close this window check the power of the machine and click ok and then go to settings go to go to systems and then click on the hard disk and just click on move up arrow and keep it on the top and click ok and then again start the machine So click on the first and click enter. Now here you have to click on the license information and you have to tick I agree the license agreement and click on done and just click on the finish the configuration. clicking enter and this is the password this is the user creation which we have created while installing the operating system so in my case the password is red hat and I'm clicking enter to sign in so if you find this interface your red hat version 8 is successfully installed with zero errors and you are ready to use it so if you face any problem while installing this operating system you can comment down in the comment section i will definitely help you out and if you love the content please hit the like button and subscribe for more content this is the basic introduction part so it's just it as you install the new operating system it just welcomes you so it is such in the way click next 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 skip and start using Red Hat Enterprise Linux. There you go.